Forest just launched their fourth in-house movement of the past three years, all through their movement creation program. The Caliber 473 is a manual wine movement with five days of power reserve. So far, it has been used in just this Big Crown Caliber 473 model with a powder blue dial. I have this watch in hand lent to me by Oris. I will give you all the details of the movement and this model, how it differs from the other Big Crown models, and my opinions, both good and bad, on this episode of Adventures with Time. I like what Oris has been doing lately, especially the development of new movements, upping their game and product line to be distinctive and unique, evolving towards what many would call the luxury tier. In 2020, Oris came out with the Automatic Caliber 400 in the Aquastate 400. Building upon the 400 design, they launched the Caliber 401 with a small seconds in the limited edition Wings of Hope and the Caliber 403 in the Big Crown Pointer Date Caliber 403. And now, a couple of months ago, in January 2023, they launched the Caliber 473 in the Big Crown Caliber 473 model. The Aquis and Big Crown collections are both very popular within the Oris brand. Hence, it is logical that Oris chose models from these collections to introduce new in-house movements. Later, I'll opine as to if these are really in-house movements. But now, let's dig into this new Big Crown Caliber 473 by first looking at the watch design, and then this new movement. By the way, I'll leave a link at the end to my video comparing the Aquastate 400 to the foundational Aquastate model. The models of the Big Crown collection are portrayed by Oris as pilot's watches, hence the larger crowns to enable operation by a gloved hand. They also have an outer date track with a pointer hand rather than a separate date window. This maintains a balance to the dial. This date complication is one of the design elements where this Big Crown Caliber 473 model differs from the other 28 models in the collection. Rather than a crescent moon tip on the date pointer, this new model uses an arrowhead. I prefer the crescent moon tip as it gently highlights the date of interest. The arrowhead seems a bit harsher. Another design departure is the smooth polished bezel. Virtually all of the other Big Crown models have a bezel with a coin edge treatment. I find this smooth bezel tends to focus attention on the dial. This Big Crown Caliber 473 uses a 38mm case, which is in the middle of the Big Crown size range, which also includes 36 and 40mm models. It is 13 millimeters thick, including the 2 millimeter sapphire box crystal with anti-reflective coating on the underside, and has a 45 and a half millimeter lug to lug. The screw down crown is 7.4 millimeters and seems to take more turns to fully secure than other watches. That gives one the sense of quality and confidence with the 50 meters of water resistance rating. On the supplied strap, it weighs in at just 80 grams. This strap is actually deer hide, which is sustainably produced by Cerro Valente. It comes with a butterfly folding clasp, which incorporates a friction-based micro-adjustment mechanism, so you can attain an exact fit. With quick-release spring bars, the strap is easily replaced with other straps. Unfortunately, with a 19mm lug width, you may not have or find many other straps to use. As they did with the launch of the Aquastate Caliber 400, Oris has put a premium on the Big Crown Caliber 473. Here, with the new movement, the price is $4,400 US dollars, which is over two times that of the standard Big Crown models. Later, I'll consider whether this premium is justified. I've always considered the Big Crown models to be an attractive everyday style of watch. The one design aspect I didn't like was the coin edge bezel. I think it adds too much sparkle for a watch that has the aesthetic of a pilot watch. But this new model with its plain polished bezel and linear brush lug tops softens the look appropriately. The change from Mercedes and syringe hands to these obelisk hands adds to the utilitarian look of this watch. In fact, I can't make up my mind if this looks more like a pilot's watch or a military field watch. Given the 38mm size, it fits more into the realm of a field watch. The dial has simple Arabic hour indices with a rail minute track and that outer date scale. 
it is a little disconcerting to me that the minute and day tracks have differently spaced increments, but one learns to ignore that. This is an easy to read dial where the pointer date is not confused with the hour or minute hand. One design element that probably has the most impact on this watch's appeal is that powder blue dial color. I would expect that as Oris makes more dial colors available, the popularity of this watch will grow. Those who are looking for superior loom will be disappointed. Although there is loom on the hands and hour markers, neither one is overly potent, with the hands being brighter than the indices. Hey, do you like this new shirt I'm wearing? You'll find it and other watch-related apparel in my merch shop below. I'm not one who prefers or even likes a power reserve indicator, but here Oris has moved it to the back side of the movement, which is observable given there is no rotor to obscure one's view through the display case back. This is a nice feature, especially on a manual Y movement that has five days of power reserve. As I demonstrated in my video on the Aquas Date 400, getting to the fully wound state can take a long time. Having the power reserve indicator provides indication on one's progress and actually encourages me to keep winding. Oris has based this new Caliber 473 movement on the Caliber 400, bringing along its 5-day power reserve, elevated 2,250 Gauss anti-magnetic capability, accuracy of minus 3 to plus 5 seconds a day, 10-year warranty, and 10-year service interval. Unlike the other 400 series of movements, the Caliber 473 is a hand-wound movement with that power reserve on the backside. Neither the Caliber 400 or the Caliber 473 are highly decorated. However, I believe the 473 has more to admire. Without a rotor, one can see the balance spring working and peaks of various gears. Enhancing the aesthetics are the polished chamfered edges to all openings in the bridge plate. If you watch my video on the Aquas Caliber 400, you'll remember that the minute hand would jump a little while hacking, even though there is a proper way to hack that movement, which eliminates any jumping, some enthusiasts were concerned. No worries, with the 473, as I can confirm, there is no movement in the minute hand during the hacking process. However, is the Caliber 473 an in-house movement? Although Oris did define all specifications in engineering of the movement, component manufacturing is performed by third parties and then assembled in a shared model with Oris. So do you consider this to be an in-house movement? I do. Let us know what you think in the comments below. What are my thoughts about the Big Crown Caliber 473, especially the premium price tag? I've already stated some of the changes Oris made from the established Big Crown models. I prefer the crescent moon over the arrowhead date pointer, and I like the subdued look of the smooth polished bezel and obelisk hands on this style of watch. I do have mixed feelings about the powder blue dial aesthetic. It is a colorway which further softens the appearance of this watch. I can see wearing it in a business scenario. I think it would fit well into a snowy environment, and oddly also in a tropical atmosphere. However, this is not a color that all will like. Unfortunately, the size of this watch appears to be just a bit too small for my 7 and 7 8 inch wrist. Perhaps not primarily based on the 38 millimeter case, more due to the 18 and a half millimeter strap, which tapers down to just 14 and a half millimeters at the buckle. Undoubtedly, the biggest issue with this model, no, not the fact that it's a hand wound movement. I like that. The 4,400 US dollar price tag will be the issue for some. By more than doubling the price of this Caliber 473 model over the Salita base models, it will be hard to justify for many. Oris will tout that this movement comes with a 10-year warranty and service interval, effectively reducing the cost of ownership. They will also point out the extensive design and engineering that has gone into this movement to produce unique functionality. On the other hand, watch collectors will argue that for the same or less money, they could acquire other luxury watches. Clearly, Oris has put a lot of work into this big crown model, from the movement to the quality of the finishing. As with all purchase decisions, each of us has to determine value on our own. For me, the fact that the size doesn't fit my wrist appropriately, I wouldn't be buying. However, if they release a larger size with wider lugs, I would certainly consider that model. 
Since many consider this model to have the aesthetics of a field watch, you will want to watch this video where I cover every model in Hamilton's field watch collection. And here is my video on the Aquascape Caliber 400. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.